Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com a uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody is having a great start of their holiday season. Hope everybody had a great uh, day of trading. Uh, before we get started, uh, number one, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, all we ask is uh, a like. A like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And we'll try to continue uh, to bring you as much unbiased uh, value as possible. Uh, but before we get started, a uh, special rest in peace. Rest in peace to a true uh, Wall Street legend, uh, Charlie Munger uh, from Berkshire Hathaway, uh, the right-hand guy for uh, Warren Buffett, 99 years old, God bless, uh, unfortunately uh, passed away. And passed away, had a, 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 we're thinking, you know, he has a 99 years, a pretty, pretty great life. And hopefully uh, this holiday season, uh, he leaves his family with a lot of great memories. Again, at the end of the day, I don't care how much money you want or how much money you have. If you don't have the memories to kind of look back uh, and share them with others, you know, what kind of life uh, did you actually live? So a uh, big shout out, uh, big rest in peace, prayers uh, and good vibes to uh, Charlie Munger's uh, family, a true uh, Wall Street uh, legend. Um, one other item, uh, if you are, uh, if you are guys uh, interested, again, we're, we're continuing that Black Friday Cyber uh, Monday uh, sale for the webinar. Uh, if you are interested in pivots, you have a couple of days to kind of, uh, you know, kick the tires. Again, uh, you know, this is something that if you are a patient trader um, and this is something that fits your, uh, you know, your, 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 your lifestyle, your, your patience level, your experience level, uh, it's it's very cool. Okay, trading pivots is very cool. Uh, we're the only ones who traded in this fashion. I understand some other people uh, throughout the social media world are teaching this PS60 theory, but again, it's, try, it's like trying to get milk from uh, you know, it's like trying to get milk from uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from 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 the store versus getting getting it from a cow itself. It's kind of a little weird. But if you are interested, again, you got a couple of days to to really say kick the tires for the next 30 days. Uh, and see if it is right for you. So that's that. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about the market. Yesterday, we talked about uh, the market potentially looking for, you know, a little bit of a rest, you know, a little bit of a rest here, maybe a potential back test. Uh, we also talked about how important that uh, 338 level was going to be on the QQQs. And look at today's low, right, guys? Look at today's low, 388.05. So for all you guys who are out there and they're trying to, you know, figure out what to time the market or look for this blow off top, whatever the case may be, guys. Again, 388, 388, 388. Again, this channel is not going to change, right? Uh, as long as we continue to stay above 388, the bulls are in control. Once we start losing 388, well, then the narrative changes a little bit. So write this down, guys. Set a price alert for whatever platform you're using. Uh, 388 continues to be defended. And if there is going to be uh, a profit-taking, aggressive back test, at least for one or two days, uh, it's going to need to lose that 388. This is how cool technical analysis is. It's right to the penny. You don't have to guess. We talked about that price yesterday, and 388.05 uh, was the low for today. So you can see uh, how the bulls are continuously uh, handling, right? Handling this market. They're resting and then rotating back, resting and then rotating back. Um, the cool part about today's session was um, initially it started off very, very slowly, okay? Meaning that if you guys remember yesterday, we talked about Tesla and I said, well, if Tesla could start waking up and reclaim the 50 day moving average, maybe it could wake up, right? Maybe we can wake up. So I bought Tesla initially today, okay? I bought Tesla initially today uh, when it reclaimed the 50 day moving average and it only went up, literally only went up 30 cents. It was a big reload seller in the stock. And when they slammed it down, I said, you know what? That's cool. I get, I get what's happening here. I took a dollar loss, no big deal. And then slowly it started reclaiming back the 50 day moving average. And this time around, when it reclaimed the 50 day moving average, it went absolutely bananas. And what I mean bananas is bananas, right? So here is the first move, right? Here is the first move that I got slammed down, right? Here's the first move that got slammed down. 
And then it, when we reclaimed it, it just went absolutely nuts. And we got back in basically the same price uh, as the first entry. And the stock right now is, you know, doing well. It's doing really, really well. It's about $9 above uh, our entry. Uh, I know some of you guys are runners. I know some of you guys uh, have a decent position in this thing. And the more important part about Tesla now, this is the highest close in this whole formation. So not only did it reclaim back the 50-day moving average, it reclaimed the 11.15 highs that we've been talking about for the last couple of days. Um, 250 weeklies are coming in nonstop, okay, nonstop. Not only just uh, today, they were coming in yesterday. They were also coming for the 245s. Now today, we saw 255s. We started seeing 260s for next week. Uh, what set the tone? Uh, well, Elon Musk came out uh, and he tweeted, I think it was a tweet, he tweeted out, that the first deliveries of the Cybertruck are coming on Thursday, right? So that really lit the fuel to the fire. And, you know, I think if we can get one more day, right? If we could get one more day and Tesla confirms today's channel. Okay, because it's, again, it's always possible they could have a little bit of profit taking at the open. But I'm telling you, if Tesla could, could confirm today's channel and, and really, really get above this channel here and confirm it, we could start seeing a move into the 50s. And, you know, again, as much as like NVIDIA and Amazon and Apple and Meta, when they start going, that's cool. Okay, especially NVIDIA. You know, NVIDIA had a 115-point run. But there's something about Tesla. For all you guys who trade Tesla on, on a uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, there's something different about t Tesla. When it starts its run, it just hits different. It feels different. The liquidity is there. The average true range is there. It, the range is, is just absolutely phenomenal. So, Let's definitely hope if Tesla can get one more day tomorrow and confirms today's channel and really starts to build, we could start a day two move uh, into the 50s and then really start filling in this whole, whole gap here that it lost uh, all the way back in October. So Tesla look, looking absolutely amazing. The question is, do we get that, you know, we get that gap up? You know, the last couple of times we had the same type of scenario, five, six, seven points and the stock completely imploded back. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, it'll be one of those situations that, hey, you know what? It's finally different. It's finally gotten over a major supply zone, and now it's time for its next uh, leg run. So hopefully uh, we get that next leg run. If you look at all the other names, um, you know, again, they rested, right? They rested. This is kind of my point uh, yesterday. You know, look in the video, right? And the video is still, you know, putting in this bear flag here. I, I took a short on the video twice today, twice. Both times it went down like a dollar and change, and then it just ripped right back. Um, again, not the easiest stock to go to hold, but boy, oh boy, there was definitely a buyer at the bottom of the range. Hopefully they cleaned up that buyer. Okay. Hopefully they cleaned up that buyer. And tomorrow, if this thing can lose the 20 day moving average, maybe finally this thing starts to implode. Uh, look at Netflix, right? Look at Netflix as well. Netflix is just, again, holding on. It's like a carbon copy of, um, of the NASDAQ 100. Netflix is just holding on to this five day moving average. Now it's three days in a row. It held the bottom range. Guys, let's definitely keep an eye on Netflix. Again, it doesn't have to happen tomorrow. I'm, I'm guessing if there's going to be a back test in the queues, that's when everything will start to kind of uh, mirror it. But boy, oh boy, let's definitely watch Netflix. It's holding on to the five-day moving average now, three days in a row. Uh, let's watch it in the next couple of days if it finally loses it and starts uh, getting hit. You know, looks, you know, looks ready to go. It's just the question is, uh, does the market, um, you know, does the market give it uh, an opportunity uh, to do so? Uh, let's talk about some other names. Um, look at a name like uh, Etsy, right? Look at a name like Etsy. Looks pretty good, right? Pretty good. Had a big, big run uh, on its, uh, you know, on the um, holiday uh, cyber, uh, cyber savings day. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing is very, very close uh, to continuing its move. Uh, Target, boy, oh boy. You know, Target, I've been in this thing for about four days now, three, four days now. It hasn't moved. It literally has not moved. It's literally at my average. Um, We've been sitting this thing for, for, well, at least I've been sitting this thing for a while. It just hasn't moved. I'm hoping the damn thing finally starts waking up and goes. It's just sitting in this tight channel. I'm hoping the next move is going to be a very aggressive one, but so far, not really moving. Uh, TDOC, another name getting way, way beat up this year. It stopped right below daily supply. Keep an eye on TDOC, guys. If this thing starts building, this is the first close above the 50-day all it needs to do is clear out the 50-day EMA tomorrow, and this thing could start moving up here. Look at PayPal, right? PayPal, uh, again, very strong, uh, very strong uh, name in the in the processing um, in the processing business. Uh, it's very close, right? Very, very close. If we could just reclaim that Bollinger Band, 
uh, this thing could wake up as well. Uh, look at Meta. Meta got sold off yesterday. Uh, sold off yesterday on uh, the Instagram, I guess, security for kids uh, type of news. Uh, it rebounded today. All it needs to do is reclaim back the five-day moving average, and you know, Meta can start moving up again. So the market continues to be really, really good. Uh, the bears are incredibly frustrated. I'm not frustrated because I know the levels. We're not frustrated because we know the levels, right? There's no reason to be sell bias uh, until the queues start losing that 388 level. Again, we got close. We got real close the last two, three days, but again, bulls held. So instead of sitting there and trying to, you know, trying to guess when it's going to happen, just wait for it to do so. 388 uh, line in the sand for the short term uh, for the Nasdaq 100. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about today's pivots, right? Let's talk about today's pivots. Um, so this is the one, right? This is the one. So I've always I've always maintained the the the, the notion, guys, don't fall in love with the stock. Okay, I love Tesla. It's my favorite stock. I this is it's, it's always my favorite stock. Okay, but I don't care which way it goes. Okay, that's why we always talk about. Don't fall in love with the stock, fall in love with the setup, fall in love with the distribution channel. So we had a pit rip today, right? 238.75 to the upside, 232 and 231 to the downside. Uh, Tesla, like I said, we bought Tesla initially. It got rejected. I sold the dollar, bought it back, yada, yada, yada. We're up about eight, nine points in the trade. So if it, you know, if it can confirm, this thing could go really nuts. And hopefully uh, it does so, makes one more run up uh, into uh, the cyber truck delivery news. Uh, Meta today went uh, pre-market. It went pre-market and went down to 332.50, and never confirmed the 332.50 lows. So we we couldn't uh, we couldn't get the trade. Uh, Apple 88.90 is a 10-day. If it builds below, obviously Apple did not. Uh, Netflix again. This is the magic number on Netflix. It held uh, 75. You know now three times. Right. If it builds below, it can flush. Uh, Etsy uh, just got triggered on on, on the close. And again, here's the number, guys. Major support held 388 back-to-back -back days. Again, another back-to-back -back days. If the bulls can give it up, that's the back test. And again, it never did. So 388 continues to be uh, a big number, and that is it. So uh, look, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, I shorted literally twice. Uh, the first time I shorted, went down a dollar and change. It took a partial off, stopped me out, break even. I went back in again, sec sec same price, went down, went down a dollar and change, took a partial break even. But again, the focus today was on Tesla and hopefully the focus will continue to be on Tesla. Again, is it possible Tesla puts in an inside day, some some rest at the open? Absolutely. Of course, it's all possible. But the point is now that it's above all the supply, if the longer it holds the supply, the higher probability will get a stronger move. So guys, that's everybody. However, everybody, hopefully everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's healthy happy and an incredibly great mood because this is the happiest time of the year. And if you are looking for something different, okay, something different, because again, everybody trades exactly the same way. There, again, guys, there is uh, there is an alternative to the normal. And if all you guys have been following me for years and years and years, all it takes is 30 days and open mind to kind of open up your horizons. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care.